I've been playing the crap out of Mon Bozul, aka the Canadian Meissner car. In light of the recent old truck update, I thought that it's a good time to revive this series since it's been a year since I last uploaded a video on this game. Hey guys, it's Tris here, and let's start over from the beginning. So right here, we got my current Koenig all modified right here from this recent community post I posted. So let's click on New Game and change the save name. Since my save name is already Tries, let's call myself Tries Re... Oh, you can't space. Tries Reborn, I guess. <laughs> And in the patch notes, it did say that there is, like, a brief backstory, kind of like what, what, like, my summer car did. Uh, okay, here we go. I think this is it. Just like my summer car, you're born on the side of a highway, and boom, you're in the game. So, hello, dev of the game here. I hate long introductions before playing a game, so this will be a short one. Okay, you're a car guy, and that's your luxurious home. God damn, it's like a half a billion dollar home, man! You've just left your mother's house, and you live near your brother Francis, that's cool. This is your Bazul, in other words, a beater, a jalopy, or a hoopty. It's still a 90s rear drive car, though. I agree. For some help or instructions, you can look at the to-do list in this shed. Also, to save the game, you'll need to play on the computer or the portable console. There's a fuel station located in town. You should go and talk to the owner, Jacques. I mean, I pretty much know most of this game because I've been replaying the crap out, like I said. Wait, wait, I suggest you build a sugar shack, follow the road behind your house, and loading the game. Okay, here we go. So, what is it like when I jump in in a new save? So here, $100 is my ass just for you. Thank you. What do we got here? We got our four poutines, and I believe our maple syrup at the bottom. Ooh, lots and lots and lots of maple syrup and poutine. Okay, the dev. Santa Goat's pretty generous to pretty much keep our needs and all that good stuff. So unfortunately, with my progression with my friends list, because it's very important to have a max friendship with everybody. Is it with Francis? We did a 25 for the garage, level 50 for mother, to add a deep fryer basket to make our homemade patine, and Jacquez to let you fuel up at any time of night, any time of day, this or that, whatever you need to. And here is my goddamn car without the blue paint with rust everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> And we got a missing tire. This kind of takes me back where I played this about a year ago when I first played this, and I invariably played it and uploaded my channel and just forgot about this. And here I am a year later, rediscovering what's it like replaying this damn game. So here are my to-do lists in here. So here's the intake and my tire and the buggy parts. Let's install this right away here. Yeah! And the freaking garage! <laughs> Like I said, I think you need a 25 of Francis to unlock the garage, which it takes like five or seven working days to build that garage art ordeal. So let's just build the car right away. So I think first things first is you yeah. torque down the wheels. Was that the one? Hold up. Use the adjustable spanner to tighten the bolt. So that's what I did. Okay, tighten all the lug bolts on the wheel. So that's what I was trying to do. So that just basically was kind of confusing having that yell at me saying that I did it. Now it's turning this tin can, turn around, whatever that they say in Madagascar. Yeah! Okay, so I finally got the wheel done right here. I kind of like how he whistles and it just yells, yeah, when you complete something off your to-do list. So I got the wheel done. Next for the intake. And this should be the last bolt. Yeah. So there goes our intake right there. So we pretty much got everything done right now with this car in this keep of a condition here. And also, does the car run? Wow, this is so weird how quiet it sounds compared to my old save where it's like freakishly loud with the performance, basically the racing exhaust and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to take the car for now. We're going to wait till we fuel this bad boy up and all the ordeal. So let's just take the truck and go into town. And before we get into town, I would like to talk to my boy Francis as I get stuck on a tree? Are you kidding me? Right off the bat for my callback video, I am on the hood. What? What is this? Wait, wait, what is this? Oh, it's the well. Oh, shoot. Well, time to crank this bad boy before I talk to him. Hey, Francis, sorry about your well. You forgive me? SGD. I can't wait for summer to come. All right, so every day, every single day, we have to talk to Francis to get one, our garage, and two, an air compressor once you reach level 50 in his friendship. Same thing for your mother, she's currently at a 33. We have to talk to her for 17 in-game days to get the frying basket to make our homemade poutine. And not only that compared, Willie Coley Stein. Oh, hey, Mr. Truck, it's a freaking Dodge Ram truck. Where do you do it here, man? 
So on a one day out of traffic first in the game, here's another one. There's a Honda Accord looking ass. And let's see what we got at the farmer's market thing. So we got a potato. Well, it's gonna keep him for now. Just one. Yeah. Seed? Use him in the future once we make our homemade patine, sell the frying packs to him. So I know you can sell the packs of french fries to the snack delivery off to my left here, which is this left right here. We can sell the french fries for $200 to make another extra form of income. Better than selling wood, doing all the maple syrup, or all that good stuff. So Jock was Lazier. He's out of the race, says IndyCar. And sheesh, this is so dead in here. Is this the new update that made it dead? The original engine? Are you kidding me? Broke ass. I remember this was the performance engine right here, so I believe the newest update where they had a uh, new store they put it at the old grocery store. That's where they hold the new parts store for like the performance engines and everything performance related to your Koenig or the old truck. So Jacques was here. Hey, yeah, fait ça c'est beau y'a que peu aujourd'hui. Yes sir. Yes sir. Salut. Hello! No, 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 leave me alone about the racetrack. So right away, once we get a hold of the sugar shack, we have to buy some wape, some pruning lubes to basically cut down, I mean cut down, cut down trees, but to cut the saplings or whatever to plant another tree, another tree, this or that ordeal, to basically make more trees here for our maple syrup factory once we get down the line there, which I'll probably show you that a little bit later. And right away, to basically kind of like keep the tree population per se, unlike last time, not necessarily cutting down, but basically getting these here cuttings right here, our saplings for our pine trees, birch trees, mainly our maple trees, which is the most important ones to preserve once we build that sugar shack later down the road, like I mentioned earlier. And not only that, once you have the pruning loopers in hand, you can see where are the cuttings are at. See, if I unequip them right there, you can just see them as is. And once I re-equip them, you get this little blue marker showing where each of the cuttings are at. So, cutting down these trees, I still like how you cut down the tree itself, and then the tree itself again to get all these logs, rather than cutting every single one of these down, which has a big plus in this game. Here, yeah, beep, 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 done. Alright, so three more trees to go, so we're cutting down eight of these pine trees, which is well enough for France. It's probably what pretty much lasts us like for another couple days of selling the firewood to him to make a couple extra hundred dollars and all that ordeal. Basically for ourselves and- wait, we need the pine trees for the sugar shack, right? Can we build it like, right now or something like that, or what? If we can get the sugar shack go right now, then that's great. So here, yes you can! That's nice, so I think you need like 80 or 90 something logs, so are those 8 good enough? Place pine logs for the 64. Okay, here we go, I'm getting them right now. So load that pine. Load that pine. We're gonna be doing this for all of these guys right here. I don't think it's gonna be enough for all eight of these, right? How many do you have to cut down? So you need to cut down three more pine trees. I believe I cut down eight, so I'm gonna cut down the last three, which are gonna be these right here. So cut this sapling, and then this sapling right here, and this boy right over here. All right, this is gonna be a tedious process, so do all that. Here's five of them right here, five or six. So here's six, let's keep on going. All right, it's been about like 10 minutes, I'm halfway there, 32 out of 64, and it's about nighttime, it's about 1700 hours, which that equals to 5 p.m. in our very first day of this new save. All right, it's probably be the last load for the day here. See that my maple syrup is starting to go up, my needs, all this good stuff, and that is neutral, and I'm getting low on gas. So how many logs we got set right here? 47 out of 64, good. So let's continue this on a Tuesday. All right, it's Tuesday. Let's change this to blue and let's drink our ass some maple syrup. Like a pure Canadian, just like that. So I'm nearly done building the sugar shack, but unfortunately I'm starting to get low on fuel. I'm at a quarter of a tank right now. So I'm gonna grab the gas tank and fill this boy up to like maybe a half a tank at the gas station in town. So we're definitely going to be broke as soon as we fill the truck to a respectable amount, including the gas can right here. So I'm thinking after I do the refilling, I'll probably be down to like maybe $30 or something. I know this is kind of stupid right here, but let me talk to Giles real quick because I know he could find the welded differential and a couple things to the coin, including parts of the buggy. Nope, because I haven't really discovered him or what. Because I did before privately is I made him find the welded differential to the Koenig where I used that for a while until I later bought the limited slip differential from the traveling man, Roger. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's go broke, let's put the gas can down, 
unscrew the gas cap, and fill this bad boy up with our boy Sans Plob. Let's see here. Ew, disgusting! You can't use peasant fuel! I forgot, you can't use this cheap regular fuel. We gotta use the premium super fuel. Look at that. Look how super duper extravagant this is. So let's see how $15 in gas will do. How about $15? We're at the half a tank bag. Per perfect, half a tank right there. And I think it's $17 to fill this can up full. This is a 20 liter gas can we got here. So I know the little markers down there. I think it's 17, 66. Let's see here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 66. Perfect. I was right. So we need to have some leftover money once we build the sugar shack, which I think it's like $25 for the saplings, like the sap sprout kit, and $10, something like that, for the little rolls or whatever. So I'm still loading up the wood for the sugar shack, and I believe this is probably the last load that I need to build it. It said that I had like 56 logs, and I believe this is pretty much my last one, but let's use this full stack here and head back to the shack. Uh, Sugar Shack, okay, we're done. Sugar Shack, move back. So I got plenty of logs here, so move further. Okay, shut up, boy. Move back. Move farther. Move back farther. Move back, damn it. Well, now you're too far. Come back here. Uh, let me shut my truck off and get this log out of my face, please. Well, at least we got some leftover logs so we can cut this. Excuse me, and here is the Sugar Shack yet again. Fine, boom. Yep! Yeah! And also, F2 is also to hide the UI if you never knew that. Well, since we got the sugar shack done again, let's go out and cut the firewood, so does the Francis, and hopefully in time, buy the little sapling sprout thingies and the tubing roll from the Maple Syrup Factory. Well, it's not a factory, it's the Maple Syrup Federation to be specific. Alright, do we got fuel in the woodchucker thingamajig? Uh, yes we do. I think this is good enough, but like a half a tank that we got here. So let's fire up, pull the handle. And generator.ogg up in here. Brrrm. Brrrm and repeat. Alright, from three point range. What a shot from Curry. What a slam dunk. And a change in size of the frickin' firewood. Kinda funny, you got these big ass, I mean big ass logs here. Once you put this in a woodchucker, look how small that is. Just a big size difference from that. So we're gonna sell all this wood for now to Francis, and later on we can cut some more wood down for Francis, and then probably get some wood specifically for the sugar shack to warm up our maple syrup or sugar water to convert to maple syrup and all that ordeal, but we gotta buy a barrel first. So I decided to cut down a couple of birch trees to pretty much get a full stack of wood that we got going here in the back of our truck to hopefully make a good amount of money to Francis and basically try to get a barrel going once we buy this at the Maple Surf Factory because we got enough, like I said, we got enough for the little tubing rolls at the sap sprouts, but we don't have enough for the barrel, which costs $200 to buy. And we pretty much have to hit the road right about now because we can't be late and all that stuff because they close at 1600 hours, but we have to leave this property at 1500 hours, which I believe right here, this stack that we got going here, like this is pretty much the fullest stack that we got going here, pretty much like my second video that I made on this channel in this here series on my first run back in February of 2022. Alright, so we got a full stack going here. Let's start the truck up and give this to my boy Francis. Undo the parking brake. It looks at the B button twice to take a... Well, I gotta eat my poutine and my maple syrup, like, right now. I don't want to go hungry and all that stuff. Alright, let's see the X... Ooh, watch that wood. It's shifting like crazy because this is pretty much the most you can hold in a truck like this before you have to buy a trailer. So let's not drive too aggressive, pretty much drive safely as I can, but swiftly as possible in a way that we're not driving too reckless, too crazy, going off the road and losing all our load. Alright, watch that, watch that, stop the truck. Damn, these brakes suck. I think now, in this version of the game, you can finally upgrade the brakes in your truck, not just your Koenig and all that good stuff to go back on up. Yeah, $250. Good, $292 by selling the wood. Now we're at $335.68, so we're back on track. Not back on track, we're making great progress financially. All right, Maple Syrup Boy, I think his name is Eric in the shop, I believe. So we got about a half hour to make this quick pick stop at the Federation Syrup Theoretable. I think I butchered that big time. Okay, so let me buy the sap, oh, okay, that's 10 for the sprouts pack and 25 for the tubing roll. Very good choice, I agree. So let's put this bad boy neatly like that. 
the tubing roll, 25 dollars, yeah! Put that in the truck, and lastly, we need this, the barrel. Now we're down to about $100 and 68 cents, pretty much where we first started the game. Sheesh. And also this new update, here is the new building, which is the Turbo Construction, which I do know that is where you get the roads paved to your home or your own driveway and this and that. There goes my barrel. So unfortunately, once I get back to the house, I cannot do the maple syrup operations because, well, the fuel pump or the vacuum pump, its operation starts from 9 a.m. to 1600 hours or 4 p.m. because, well, it can't operate that well in the cold. And I lost my panties. So let's drive up to the freaking sugar shack and see what is the game plan with my sprouts and everything. So let's put some of the sprouts here on these here maple trees. We'll start with this one back here and work my way up to the actual shack where we can connect this bad boy to the actual shack. The vacuum pump to get hopefully 10 of these trees going in the next day. See, the problem here is that I got some of these trees connected with the sap sprouts and these over here too. So unfortunately, I need to buy a little two big post junction and place it somewhere like right here so I can get a connection on both sides of these here trees so I can get both of them together and do all that. So let's sleep in until Wednesday and probably end the video off right there. And also, I did notice that there are these bed stakes for the frickin' truck. Can I install these right now if I wanted to? I swear, let's see. Without any... Oh, you have to bolt them in. Oh, shoot. I'll see, they're good for carrying, like, super duper over capacity type of load that we had earlier with... Excuse me, with the freaking wood that we got earlier that we sold to Francis, but we'll install that later. Hey, Eric, I need to buy a fine piece of your $45 tubing post. Whoopsies. Uh, very good choice. I agree. It's very good. And I'm certain you also gotta buy another tubing roll because it requires, I think, a couple to connect those two together. Alright, let's put our tubing post somewhere right here and finally connect the tree. So go here and this bad boy will go here to connect our first tree. And that's very bad. Alright, let's park the wood chipper here. We gotta get some wood going with our pine logs right here to melt some of that maple syrup in here. So, we're not really making much the tank right now. What's it like inside? Do we got a full tank inside or no? No, we're still- Oh, it's off. There we go. Now it's turned on. There we go. Now we got the sugar water coming in, but it's gonna be coming in pretty slowly. So, it's very bad having five trees. Let's- Let's get- Let's, let's connect this bad boy right here. So, get on going, please. And... Are you ki- Dude, I'm just a millimeter- Oh, are you kidding me? Just let me go for God's sakes. Well, let's grab the prune loopers and get this cutting right here. Place it, mm, like, in this right here. You know, let's do it for most of these trees here. Let's get a lot of these cuttings going so I can get, like, a good amount of maple trees going for the future. So we're about 40 minutes until the vacuum pump stops right here. So I cut down a bunch of trees here. I think like four of them. So I'm going to be stacking a bunch of wood here for tomorrow. And then off to my left-hand side of the wood chucker here. We're going to sell a bunch of the wood to Francis and probably do some food delivery. And then this off here. All right, 15 minutes to go. Got a bunch of the wood there. Where are we at in the sugar water? So the tank is not 100% full. It looks like 70% full. So what's it like in the tank right here? So the tank... Nothing. Eh, it sucks having, like, five trees connected at the moment. I wish there's more, but I put some saplings down by using the prune loopers, and hopefully we can get more in the near future. Alright, I just heard the vacuum pump stop, so it should yell at us that it's too cold outside because it's four o'clock. The game told us that's how things work here, unfortunately. Because, well, we're in Quebec, Canada, in the middle of the springish times where it's still cold because we're in the deep northern hemisphere. Especially to my Midwestern ass being from Ohio. Hey Francis, make me rich please. You're welcome. $171, now we're just about $201, nice. Alright, let's hurry up and get some fuel before they close. So I'm gonna put like maybe 20 bucks of fuel in here, so we're about halfway there now. Get to 20. And here's your 2022, just like last year in fuel. Where does that put us? What over half a tank, okay. And also talk to these boys because we got to improve our friendship because we didn't unlock the junkyard and pay for the track, which is about $70,000 to do so. 
Now let's do some extreme DoorDash by doing some pizza deliveries right now. So we got these three pizza box. We gotta go to this person, dead straight ahead where the arrow's at, now behind me, now dead straight ahead, now behind me, close the door, get in the truck right now. So it's gonna be off to my right, close the door of the Explorer, keep going straight at that van. Well, I almost hit the van technically, and got on my way, Mr. Honda. All right, to the left, drift, and DoorDash. Now I gotta turn around. This is not enough. And oh, it was really right behind me. Okay, that's that's not bad. How about this one? Behind me. 15 bucks from that. I think it's behind this yellow house here. This little burgundy. You can write this one straight out. This blue house. So get door dashed. $23. Well done. That's okay ish fast. So we went down to $180 of putting that fuel in this truck and doing all this pizza delivery stuff ordeal. We pretty much got a total of $235. Pretty much making a net profit of. 35-ish dollars. Damn sign. Alright, so let's go home, drink that maple syrup, eat the poutine, rest, and end this video. You know what to install these bed stakes right now for the heck of like, how many bolts do I need to make this here work? So these 12 millimeters I gotta put in 20s? Or do I not have to? Will a 20 do? Yep, they're 20s. So unfortunately, I ran out of bolts, so I put three of these on each side of the truck bed here to put our bed sticks in. So hopefully this will stay intact, but it should with three out of the four bolts in place. So let's sleep into the night, save the game, and end this off. Now let's save the game. At 1 a.m., 2 a.m., keep on going. 3 a.m.? Yep, playing a freaking game at 3 a.m. like these cringy YouTube th um titles. All right, 4 a.m. console saved, uh, console game saved. Well, so that'll do it with my comeback on Mon Bazool. Well, for my comeback after not playing this game and showcasing this game for about a year, this is a well-deserved comeback in this series. See that I only play freaking automation BMG Drive, and that's only it that I feature on this channel, is that I want to branch out again and make videos like this for my channel. And in terms of me uploading these videos, I think I'm strictly going to upload Mambazool every Monday of the week. So Mondays, you should see a new Mambazool video like this. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.